<clears throat> Hello everybody. Uh sorry I never made a video in a while but now this is um you're learning the second video on arrays and I'm gonna teach you how to um declare arrays in an easier fashion. Imagine you had an array of ten elements and you want to declare value for all ten elements. It would be frustrating if you had to do this for every single number. So then what we're going to do, we're going to start from scratch. So to create our array, remember we have to declare the array type, just like you would do a variable type. And you put the name, just like a variable, but you'd put the square bracket and the size of the array. So we're going to make it three this time. Now we're going to declare values for it on the spot. Just like if you were to make an integer um, number equals 10 you could declare on the spot we could do that with arrays also but you might be saying how can I do that it's easy you put equals and you put the opening and closing brace or a curly bracket now remember how C++ reads it from starting from 0 so it'd go from 0 1 2 well this is what we do so say I declare 10, 20, and 30, right? So since I got three elements of the array, this first one would represent the value of number zero. This would represent the value for a number um, one, and this would represent the value for number two, right? So C++ automatically knows that the first one is number zero, so then number zero will be equal to 10. So then if I, to show you what I mean, if I um, show the value of number zero, see number zero is equal to ten, and as you can see, ten is right here. That's the value of it, right? So if I were to put number one, what would the value be? The value would be twenty, because the next one. So oh sorry, um. Let me compile this and you'll see 20 and 20 right there now say you had an array element of 4 but you only declared 3 right so you'd have number 0 you have number 1 and you have number 2 right but you never declared a number 3 so let's see what happens when we put number 3 you see the number zero it basically sets the rest of them to the value null which in the same sense is zero so then even you don't have to declare all of them at once but the things that you have to declare them in order so that if you want to declare value for number um zero the number two i mean number one the number two then you wanted to next declare one for number ten right then for all the other ones you have to put zeros in between there so say our value was 10 and you wanted only a value for number 0, 1, 2 and for number 9 you wanted a value but the rest of them you didn't want to you'd have to put a bunch of zeros because it goes in nu numerical order that's the way C++ does it now another thing about arrays is that you can use um, variable, other variable types to manipulate the number of arrays uh, the number the element number of the array you're using so say I did um, int number 10 now I, I'll, I'm i gonna make a new variable called int i that's just the main variable they use for counters or for some reason and I'm gonna put sin i and I'm gonna put number number i is equal to a hundred co number i and basically what this does so say no let me run this and explain it while I'm running it so this is asking for i from a value for i so say I put five right that means number five Right, so if I were to write this out, it'd be basically number five 
is equal to 100. So then if I were to declare 4 for i, then I'd be number 4 equals 100. So I'm just using variables to um, declare the number in the array. Remember, variables just hold the values for numbers. So if I, if the value for i is, say, 6, it's the same as putting 6 in here. It's just that you have the variable name that has a value for it, right? So that's another way you can do it. And that's just a neat thing about arrays and why they make arrays better in, than regular variables in a sense. Now, one last thing you might be asking, what if I don't know the size of the array at the beginning? Say you don't want to put int number and you want an unknown array in size because you don't know what the person's going to input, right? You have two options. You can make the array bigger than what the person's going to put or you can create a dynamic array and um I don't want to teach dynamic memory right now because that's kind of more advanced that's dynamic memory allocation and you can get around from doing that like you don't need to use dynamic memory allocation but it's still good to know cuz since a C++ isn't a um sh sh like strictly an object oriented language. You're gonna have to use a dynamic um memory allocation method, whereas in Java you could or like C sharp you could do it automatically, but not in C++. But you'll learn that later on. So I hope this tutorial helped you out, and um I this will help you in the next testing your programming skills challenge. So make sure you watch this and learn it well. Thanks for watching and bye.